Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T25 DER. Unfortunately, the plasma rifle is not featured anywhere in Halo Reach's competitive matchmaking, so firefight footage will have to do. The T25 DER, which stands for Type 25 Directed Energy Rifle, is a fully automatic rifle manufactured by Iru Iru Armory. The T25 DER is a standard Covenant infantry rifle used commonly by elites. The T25 DER was also one of the earliest and most frequently encountered Covenant plasma weapons. The earliest iterations of the T25 DER have been in use for several millennia and were in service long before the Covenant itself was established. Human researchers of the UNSC's Office of Naval Intelligence believe that the plasma rifle design dates back at least 500 years, with only slight modifications made to the rifle over time. The two segmented portions of the rifle function as large plasma generator subassemblies. The pair of curved bodies are joined via the grip, creating the rifle's distinctive, smooth, streamlined shape. The rifle, like most Covenant weapons, is smooth and aerodynamic, almost organic in appearance. The weapon's contemporary design was a result of Forerunner technology, elite craftsmanship, and profit artistry. The T25 DER's design was noted to be jaw-like, a design that perhaps unconsciously mimicked an elite's mandibles. This design allows for a faster rate of fire and more rounds per minute. Despite the efficiency of the T25 DER's design, a significant amount of heat is produced by the rifle's generators. As a result, the wielder is forced to shoot in short controlled bursts, or risk overheating, the latter of which is a tendency of the weapon. Interestingly enough, this model of the T25 DER does have Red Covenant trademark stamped on the gun. These three arrows on the back, which I don't think means much, then there's one on the side panels, which is an actual Covenant symbol, and then there's one more at the bottom grip. These trademarks are on both sides of the weapon. A couple notable features of this gun are the heat meter located here on both sides. As well as these panels here that are also on both sides. These panels stick out when the weapon overheats in order to cool down the internals. Something else I'd like to point out is that this gun features no sights whatsoever. The battery capacity I got was 26 rounds before the gun overheated, and the reserve energy is 100%. This gun does very well on battery consumption. The gun can shoot 4 rounds on average on 1% of battery. That's very good. The average fire rate I was able to get was around 500 rounds per minute. The cooldown speed was around 2.18 seconds. Max effective range is 18.44 meters. The damage output is 5 shots to break shield and 11 shots to health, totaling a 16 shot kill. However, killing with this weapon is a bit of a coin toss. On one hand, the bolt performed very well within its effective range as they hit the target. However, on the other hand, the gun does have slow projectile velocity and a bit of spread on full auto. So this gun will be best used in CQC scenarios, and I don't recommend using this out in the open field. Total TTK I got was around 1.8 seconds. Spree. Now that concludes this weapon analysis. Overall, I feel like the plasma rifle in Halo Reach needs a bit of adjustments. Maybe an increase in red reticle range and an increase in the gun's accuracy would help out a lot. 
that's pretty much all I got to say on Halo Reach's plasma rifle. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Links to my Twitch and Twitter down in the description. Make sure to hit that subscribe button only if you enjoy the content on this channel. And until next time, peace.